acuteness. Winchester, 17 HMR. Box speed says 2550 feet per second. And out of this, Weatherby and getting speeds up to 28, 43. I think there might have. The max was 28.97. So um, I'm going to test it. I'm going to test some more, show it on, on video, and then shoot them through my Tekans well, in the mags. And continue the same group. That one was 100 feet slower than the max, but still 240 feet per second faster than the box. I'm not going for accuracy. Uh, that, that one had like a hard <laughs> bolt lift, which I don't know if that's really a thing. Normally, 2831. Thirteen, and they're accurate. Even though I'm not trying, they're still super accurate. Twenty-eight sixty-four. That's that's uh pretty fast. This is a pretty nice gun too. That that other one was a Weatherby Mark twenty-two. Uh, made by Anschutz in Germany. This is Tika. Made by Seiko, I guess. Oh, wow, 2813. Impressive. This is a tack driver. It likes this ammo. 751, so it's 200 feet per second faster than the box. Consistent. So, yeah, might be attached low. Oh, the other one has a longer barrel though, too. The other one has twenty or two inch longer barrel. I have this other ammo, but I it seems like that Weatherby has been faster. Uh I know this I like it probably the best, but these uh these Tika Rimfire or TX ones, they're pretty decent. Quite, quite smooth, and uh, of course that one has a nice Mark 22 wood on it. That one's a, like a rare gun. So um, I'm going to try uh, one more gun and see if the short barrel makes a difference. I'll use that same ammo and grab a, a really short barrel. Rimfire, it's kind of got a heavy barrel. And it's very short. I think it's a 16 inch barrel. I don't know if it says on there. And uh, comes with a BX magazine, the same magazine that goes in the Ruger Precision Rimfire. And uh, it, it's kind of a neat little gun, but uh, I'm not a big fan of these magazines that stick out. Like, I, I like them. But I like the flush ones too because uh, it can get in the way. So I have to change my shooting position here. And then way back here. And I have no rest at all in the back. So. This should be a fair bit slower. But it 
it's not, well, you know, that's 200 feet per second. It's lower than the 20, 22, I think the weather bee has. Still faster than the box. Still over 100 feet per second faster than the box. Pretty consistent of this little guy. Let's go out to 100. Now that one was dead on, 27, 29. And do some more shooting with this thing. It's it's quite fun. I just sold a uh, Ruger Precision Rimfire. It was shot great, but they're so heavy and big. It's kind of nice having something little like this. Uh, I'm sure it's very loud. It has a really shiny barrel. I don't know if it's... Uh, if it's powder coated or if it's actually blued. But I wish I could have gotten a blued barrel for it. <laughs> I wish I could have got a, a really shiny scope for it. Uh, I had this on the Bagheera, so I tried making it look like it was carbon fiber scope. I just made, made it look ugly. And then it was a custom paint job, which made it look good. And I put a Add a cheek piece on here, and the one thing I don't like about these is this plastic butt stock it has no plastic, has no pad on it, so it makes it very slippery. I did put this little bit of padding on there, which which helps, but uh, yeah, that's it's not like you need need a recoil pad. It just keep it keep it from slipping. When you do lean it up against something, so pretty nice gun. So these speeds aren't aren't as slow as I thought. I thought they would be much slower. So like a hundred, little over a hundred feet per second slower out of. Uh, let's see, uh, I'm sure, I should measure that. I'll measure it and then finish this video after. Okay, off camera, I started. I tried some different ammo with with this Ruger and I finally started to get some below box one only one below box speed and and then the rest so put it down oh. so yeah there we got 2599 that that was this CCI. Now I, I've heard that there's only two companies that make all, all of the 17 HMR ammo. I, I'm not sure. And I don't know which ones are which, but, but it was, I mean, compared to the, you know, these 26s, 27, 20, Anything in the 26 was the Ruger, and then 27. Now we're at the Tika. Now 28, 13 was the Tika. So this Ruger does have a 16 inch barrel. That Weatherby has a 23, and the Tika has a 20 inch barrel. So now we get to the weather B and we're looking at 28.64 over 300 feet per second faster than the box. 28.13, same as that one from the Tika. 27.93. I thought there was one that was 28. 
No. Okay, so now you can go back and go back and then go to the shot summary on this. Shot summary, okay. And it shows you the minimum, which was 24.65. What was that out of? That was off camera. That must have been this. No, it wasn't. That had to be with the Tika. That had to be in the oddball. And the average 27, which is still decent. And then the maximum was 28.97. Yeah. Uh, that could be off camera as well. And uh, and so I mean, standard deviation is 90. That's because of this the short one. And the Tika is slower than, uh, than this by quite a bit. Uh, well, sometimes, some days. Today, it wasn't that far off. But, uh, so if we go OK, go back, and then the shot list again. Okay. Just because I've never had a really short barrel, the 17. And it's, I mean, it's still, still adequate. It, uh, probably not quite as accurate as the other ones, but uh, it was half the price.